Welcome back guys. So today's going to be a real quick one. We're going to go ahead and install RetroArch onto our Super Nintendo Classic Edition. So what this does is it opens up a world for more games and more systems to be played on your Classic Edition console. If you do not install RetroArch, you will be bound to just the Super Nintendo emulator that is built into the system. With that, that's cool if you don't mind, but there are some Super Nintendo games that will not play properly. RetroArch does have a different Super Nintendo emulator that has no issue playing most of the games, so that is an option. But you're also opened up to Nintendo 64, Turbo Graphics, Sega Genesis, Final Burn Alpha, and a handful of others, so it is a pretty cool option. So what you're going to want to do is navigate to this GitHub page, and link will be in the description so you can easily find it. So this is the newest release that was just released a day ago. What you're going to do is scroll down to the downloads. Right here it says RetroArch with Course. That's what you're going to download. You also have one other option, which is the Clover app for the SNES. And what that does is it adds RetroArch to the menu on the Super Nintendo. So you can download that as well. The installation is pretty much the same. I'm not going to install that. I'm just going to install the RetroArch with Course. So after you've downloaded that, what we're going to want to do is open up whatever hack chi version you have used. So this is going to be for people who have already used hack chi. If you have not used hack chi yet, you're going to have to go through the process of dumping your kernel and installing the custom kernel. So that is a step that's already been covered in previous videos. And I'll link those down below if you want to check them out. So from here, make sure you know where your retroarch with core zip file is and the Clover app if you're going to install that as well. Simply drag and drop. Boom. So it's going to open up the Select Modules to Install screen. This is also going to give you the options of the other modules that are available through HackChi, so you can also check those off if you want, or uncheck any of the systems you do not want installed. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it as default and install all the cores that are available. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now it's going to tell me, make sure the power is off on your Super Nintendo, reconnect. So we are going to reconnect, hold the reset button, turn on the power, give it a few seconds, let go of reset, and it should start building up to putting all of our cores and RetroArch onto our system. So let's go ahead and give it a moment and let that happen. Okay, now that that is done, go ahead and click OK. And here we can go ahead and add more games. So we will go ahead and navigate to wherever you have your games. So I'm simply just going to add Bonk's Adventure for the Turbo Graphics just for the sake of the video and testing. So go ahead and select that processing and it has been added we can go ahead and google search for the box art there we go we'll go with that one for now that works publisher unknown we can fix all that we can fix the release date i'm going to leave it as is for now so once you have added your games like i said you can add nintendo 64 whatever else you choose once you've added all your games you can go ahead and select the synchronize selected games button and that will take a moment depending upon how many games you have added now once that is done click ok we can power off our super nintendo close out hack chi and boot up our system on our tv and check it out so let's go ahead and take a quick look Okay guys, so we got our Super Nintendo booted up, and you see all of our original games are still here, and then 
our new game that we added for the Turbo Graphics is here, Bonk's Adventure. So let's go ahead and open that up and see if this worked. And sweet, she sure did. And as you see, I do have that custom bezel in the background for Castlevania. I do have a video on that if you want to learn how to install your own bezels. I will link that down below so you guys can peep that out. But this is pretty cool. Like I said, this opens up the possibility of playing Nintendo 64, Turbo Graphics, Sega Genesis, a lot of stuff. So it, it's really up to you. If you want to stick to Super Nintendo, you do not need to add RetroArch. If you want to play a lot of other games, boom, you have options, which is pretty awesome. So with this being using RetroArch, you're going to have a lot of other options. If you're familiar with RetroArch because you you know you're somebody who is in the retro pie or using RetroArch on an Android device or on your PC, you'll be very familiar with what you can do. But if not, you're good to just add your games and play them without much worry. But if you want to tweak some things, you can go ahead and access RetroArch. Right now, I do have it set to pressing select and start. Opens up the menu for that core that we are in. And here, we have a lot of options. We can go in the quick menu, change shaders, save the overrides, load state, save state, all that good stuff. We can also go into settings, change our inputs, which we can also change our hotkey binds. We can go ahead and do our on-screen displays, all sorts of cool stuff. So definitely a ton of options here. But if you're not familiar with it or you don't want to mess with it, you don't have to. It's going to be pretty transparent if you don't want to bother with it and you just want to add some extra systems and games. So I thought this was pretty cool. A couple people were asking me, how do you go about doing this? So here you go. Hope you appreciate it. Hope it helps those of you who wanted to find out how to do this. Very simple process. Very simple indeed. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Smash that like button if you could. Subscribe if you're not already. And with that said, guys, I will catch you all next time. Boom!